Call of Duty points are now in Infinite Warfare. If you want the best way to get free Call of Duty points, click the link down in the description, install the app, and start getting yourself some free Call of Duty points today. Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin. Today what we're going to be doing is playing here with the K-Bar. I'm actually using the rare variant here, and let's rush up this side. This is usually where I... Yeah, I usually get the best rush routes up here. There's definitely going to be some more people here, so I kind of... Where is he? I, I kind of want to play it safe. But anyway, the debate today is a lot of people would say either the K-Bar. Oh my gosh, there's two right here. Two-piece instant reload. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I, I had the instant reload, but I still tried to reload because that's just freaking habit right there. But uh, anyway, the debate is a lot of people, when you think of the best gun in Infinite Warfare, they either say K-Bar or NV4. And I think there's one wrapped around here. There we go. Easy kill. And the difference is usually like the K-Bar is better up uh, close, but the NV4 probably better at range. But anyway, um, today we're going to be playing with the K-Bar, and then I'll probably, you know, we'll, we'll be trying to... Oh my gosh. Outgun, baby. Reload. We'll be trying to discuss as we play which one I think is better. Oh my gosh. I completely went over that guy's head. There's more up in here. I should probably just... Actually, we can rush because I have myself a rewind. Oh my gosh. I did... What the... Wait, did he... No, I think I, I just got out gun there. I, the guy just flew by me there with the um, little dog, whatever it's called. The dog specialist. Anyway, I personally think these two are pretty much the best guys in this game. And as you can see, two-piece instant reload, baby. I love this rare variant, even though... What the hell? I need to get out of here. Even though I have... Nice. Even though I have, like, um, uh, have myself the uh, epic variants... I still like to use... Oh, man. I, I thought I could outplay that guy, but he came from the side as well. Calling this UAV. But I th even though I have the epic variants, I still like to use the rare variant because this rare variant is very, very good because of the double kill to reload. The epic one is pretty cool with the... There's one more up there. Increased headshot damage, but also decreases the damage. Another Insta reload. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I love this variant, dude. He's there. There's one more there, I think. I need to back up. He's going to be right here. Oh my gosh, dude, that was like so awkward up on the edge of that ice bucket thingy. But anyway, what I was trying to say is this rare variant is one of a kind, man. Double kills instantly reload. It's not too hard to get a double kill in this game. So you really, like, it does help you a lot. And maybe even I could, like, take off this dexterity off this dude. Nice. Holy crap, nice. Okay, sweet. I didn't think I was going to win that gunfight on that second guy, especially. This guy is just laying... Did you see that? Someone spawned right on... Like, my teammate spawned right on his dead body, right as soon as I killed him. Oh my gosh. That just shows you that the spawn system is... Like, you can predict it if you actually know how it works. We're doing decently here. I don't think this is the best game so far. But maybe... If I can get on some sort of a... Oh, there's one more... What the heck? Dude, that guy just walked right by me. He just completely ignored me. Maybe if we can get on a streak here, this could be good. I like playing right here. They could be above. And they can also be to the left, so... Left. Oh, gosh. Nice. Holy... I clipped him right there. Yeah, get me out of here. There's one... Yeah, behind me. Dude, this guy keeps walking right by me. Alright, let's go. Okay. Warden. Call us in. Now, I need one more for advance. I should probably back up here. Nice. Advance UAV. Okay, call this thing in. Now, dude, it's become so much more... Like, this game became so much easier once they invented this VSAT here, this Hater Advanced UAV variant. This thing is absolutely a monster. Not only, like... No, you know, ser holy crap. I gotta pick up a gun here. What is this? HVR? This will work. Seriously, big props to uh, Infinity Ward for... Hack, I was just sitting there. What the heck? What kind of gun did he have? Let's re re rewind there just to get more ammo because this is supposed to be a K-Bar video. Oh my gosh, I love this gun, dude. I'm t this thing is... It melts people up close. It does have a little bit of recoil, but it's absolutely dominant. There's more around this... Another warden? I don't know. Shoot, I don't want to die. I want to get this advanced. Let's just dip out here. There's probably one guy just sitting... Oh, he got killed by the warden. I need one more kill. Come on. Come on. Dude, I need like 20 more points. Let's just sit here, play safe. I can't mess this up, dude. I just need 20, 20, right? Yeah, 20 more points. There we go. Advanced UAV Overseer. Call that in. I, Jesus. Dude, this guy has a... I gotta get away from those. Those vultures are freaking nasty now since they buffed them. They're so freaking nasty. You always have to get away from them as soon as possible. Easy. 
Dude, I can play so aggressive here. Rewind and and my hater up. Oh gosh, stay alive here. Jeez, they're pushing me. Let's just go through the middle. The middle's probably safer, actually. These guys are... Re I gotta rewind for ammo. Oh, I... Oh my, oh my god, dude. I, I kind of fucked myself. I'm 52 to 7 right now. I kind of fucked myself right there. But uh, it still ended up working out. Because I was able to uh, at least get two pieces and get on my streaks before I died there. This one's coming to a close. We do, like, I guess it was those two wardens that got me a lot of kills. Because I didn't think I was getting a lot of kills this game. Vulture, I'm getting out of here. Oh my gosh. Dude, Vul I'm telling you. Vultures, as soon as you see them nowadays, just run. Back in the start of this game... You could destroy them, but nowadays, just run every time you see them. Like, th they'll just destroy you every time. It's kind of ridiculous, um, but that's just how this game goes. There we go. Victory, 100 to 58, and my score was 53 to 8. A 6 KD ratio, 6.6. 6. 53 kills, not bad. Um, I had a bit of a slow start, but I picked it up there towards the end with those back-to-back -back double streaks. Um, it definitely paid off. This is a 4-hit kill gun, really awesome. And, uh, guys, drop a like, dude. A K-Bar is a... Awesome gun. I love this thing, man. One of the best guns in the game. Yo, what is up, guys? It's the Gob, and I want to come in here and talk a little bit more about this best gun debate and get your guys' feedback because you guys, I want you guys to leave in the comment section down below what you guys think of the K about what you guys think about other guns because I think Infinite Warfare is more of a game that in Black Ops 3, it was more of a changing game where the best gun, the best SMG was always changing. And Infinite Warfare has changed a few times, but pretty much the whole game's life cycle, the debate, the, the biggest debate when you talk about best gun and the gun that even the, the pros have a hard time deciding the best two between these two is be the between the k-bar and the nv4 now personally i'm going to talk about them a bit of course today's video was about the k-bar and i want you guys to drop a like on this video and leave in the comment section down below which of those two do you think is the better gun and also what do you guys think is the complete best gun in the game now me personally I think the K-Bar is going to beat the NV4 up close pretty much every single time. The upsides of the K-Bar is that it's just high damage, insta melts people up close. However, the upside of the NV4 is that the NV4 literally has no recoil. As you guys saw in that gameplay at the start of this video, I was running with the grip on the K-Bar because the K-Bar does have a little bit of recoil and I like to be able to control with the grip. However, there's really no reason to ever run a grip on the NV4. I don't think I've ever done it. And I I don't think anyone ever should because that gun literally has no recoil so these two are both very good and very similar to medium range it's it's very like 50 50 which gun would be better but i'd say the k-bar is better up close the nv4 is better at range now of course just because these ones might be qualified as the best guns in the game doesn't mean that they're the best gun for every single situation if you think about it a gun at a very very long range would obviously a sniper would be the best and at a very very close range a shotgun would be the best now the reason why snipers and shotguns are not considered the best guns in the game is because usually the best gun in every single call of duty game is a gun that is more well-rounded for example in black ops 3 we have the vmp which is an smg however it's not only good at close range it's also good at medium range and can also pick some people up at long ranges and in game Games where for example like maybe the m1 garand or something is very good usually that one wouldn't classify either because of how bad it is at close range for a gun that's like a longer range one maybe the m8 from black ops 3 to be considered the best gun that gun it will it's easy with that one from black ops 3 because you can just run the rk5 pistol for close range and plus it's not even that bad at close range it's only the hip fire that is bad um it can still one burst people at close ranges however me personally i definitely have more kills in infinite warfare with the nv4 but it's because like that's just the one that i naturally went for it reminded me a lot of the acr which is one of my favorite guns this one reminds me the k bar reminds me a bit of the tar 21 or maybe like a scar h or a scar l a more powerful gun but one that does have a little bit of recoil however lately I, i'm going to say that i've been using the k bar quite a bit more because i'm trying to get into this gun get my kills up with this gun and another thing that actually matters in this game that a lot of people won't think of is that the nv4 probably has better variants than the k bar at least the epic variants and the legendary ones for the nv4 are probably better than they are for the k-bar the k-bar epic invective is good but it also has a drawback of lower damage when you're shooting people in the groin which can kind of suck you have to actually think about it consciously and use it consciously and i hate when epic weapons have drawbacks i think if you, you get an epic it shouldn't really have like as main like maybe a tiny bit of drawback but it should be mostly all positive anyway that's my thoughts on the topic let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this i'm really excited to see your guys' feedback 
effect. Drop a like on this thing, guys. I'd really appreciate it if we could smack up 1,500 likes. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with some more videos on Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, and Black Ops 3. Thanks for watching, guys. Sub for a cookie and don't looky. And I'm out. Peace.